Hey, Travis with T-Customs Productions, tcustoms.com. Today, just a quick tip for you Ableton Live users. Several months ago, I shot a three-part video series on how to sample in Ableton Live, and since it's gotten a lot of really great engagement, response, and feedback, and questions. And in part two of that series, I showed you how to create a custom slice preset. I had a question that came up in the comments recently of how to edit an existing custom slice preset. You may have created one in the past, and instead of recreating a brand new one, you may have already added a lot of functionality and effects and things of that sort to it and you just want to modify something really quickly with your existing preset if you haven't already seen that series you want to check it out I'll make sure to link it in the description and kind of recapping what we talked about in part two is we saved our custom slice preset in the user library default and in the slicing folder and these three presets what you see here are previous presets that we created this was the custom underscore slice underscore demo was the one that i showed in that video and it's actually the same slicing preset that i still use to chop my samples now so first all we need to do is identify the preset that we want to modify we want to edit so i'm going to drag over this custom slice demo just drag it over to a MIDI track. It'll open up all of the settings and everything that you had set up from before. This is exactly what we showed in that demonstration video in part two. And so now that you have the preset open, all you have to do now is make the modifications, whatever it is, if you wanted to you know, bring your release down or you wanted to change this to some sort of random panning. In this case, the question was, how do I add a decay or some sort of delay to this and then resave it? So all I'm gonna do is go to the uh, Ableton Audio Effects drag over a simple delay make sure that it's actually inside of this drum rack here whatever you set this to it will go ahead and save that automatically so if you want to set up a standard 4-4 delay or you could just disable it and then to save whatever changes you've made you just want to click the save preset button right here and then you want to change the name to whatever you want if you actually do want to overwrite what you currently have you can change the name to the existing name like that and it will ask you if you want to overwrite i don't in this case and it's pretty much that simple to drag over the preset into an empty midi track make the adjustments save it either as a new preset or just overwrite whatever current preset that you have so matthew i hope that answers your question if you guys have any other questions related to ableton or beat making music production there's a lot of other tips on the channel, I've got a playlist created just for music production, Ableton Live tutorials and things like that. A lot of other free resources and downloads on the channel and the website. Feel free to check those out. If this was helpful, make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.